In this video, we display how to carve a truly tightening short notch. The new thing compared to a regular lock notch is that the locking tooth of the notch is twisted to a tightening wedge. We recommend to use underscribing with this notch. Underscribing is a technique where the scribings of the notch are made with a shorter distance of the pens than the scribings of the groove. As you see, we are using the even smaller distance now in the groove. And I'm also making this head there. Please welcome to share my experience of log carving. The chainsaw is a sophisticated tool in knowing hands, but the knife is a gentle finishing tool. Mistakes are not allowed. All the drawings cannot be drawn at once. It is essential to make a template that repeats equally all the required meters. Nowadays, Log carvers are looking for new knots types that tackle the transmutation of drying wood with wedging faces. Since short notches play an important role in the cavalcade of notch types, the notch presented on this video is an answer to the demand. The wedge-shaped tooth keeps the vertical joints tight regardless of diametric transmutations. The shrinkage of diametric fibers with respect to longitudinal fibers results loosening of vertical joint after the terminal drying. In this notch the wedge-shaped tooth slides diagonally the upper log against the crossing log. The horizontal joints of the notch have to be concave to allow crushing in sliding. Also, the vertical joints need to be concave so that their edges can bite into the crossing wood. In this notch type, almost all the faces need to be brushed concave with the tip of the chainsaw's bar. Only the horizontal face of the upper notch is left flat.
The diagonal cuts on top of the log are connected to the carving of the groove. The notches and the groove are carved simultaneously, following the need to turn the log around in different phases of carving.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 